Talking about the city of the Lima, an important state of the city address tonight by the mayor. We've got Father David Ross, Director of Community Engagement at LCC. And thanks for joining us, Father. Thank you, Holly. It's great to be with you today. Okay, so I received one. I know throughout town, random surveys are going out for the city of Lima residents. And you want to talk about that survey and the things that are happening with that? Yeah, you know, I received it uh, at my residence on Metcalf Street. And um, this little survey here, uh, I logged on to the site where they requested uh, us to go. And I was just amazed at the, the quality of the questions, the number of questions and the depth of the questions that were asked of us uh, about our community and things I hadn't considered, you know, about the health of our community, the utilities, the services that are offered in the community. And um, as I was going through them, it was an honest uh, answers that I tried to give. Of course, you'd expect that. But, but um, what I was amazed at is, is that uh, I don't think I've seen this happen before in Lima community where, where, where our opinions were sought in this fashion. I know Mayor Berger did a lot of great things for our community, but I really want to sing the praises of Sharetta because she's just done the marvelous job in the short time she's been mayor of our community. And, and to even inquire of our community members how they feel about the quality of services is just amazing to me. As I look around Lima these days, I see a lot of great things happening, not only in the private sector, but also on the part of our government. Uh, for example, when I drive here to work at LCC every morning from, um, from the central city where I live, uh, I'm amazed that I go by Froke Park, the, the sidewalks that are going up and down the Ottawa River, um, the sidewalks that are going around Froke Park, uh, the great things that are happening. It's just, I, I can, can, just can't say, say enough about the, the great things that are occurring in our community and how it's helping us, I think, in terms of our, our sense of what it means to be a, a member of the Lima community. Mm -hmm. I think Mayor Smith, like you said, she's been trying to reach out to hear from the people who live in the neighborhoods. Like, you know, she did the neighborhood walks through the town and she wants to do that again in this survey. So if people get the survey, I think they should fill it out, right? Oh, yes, indeed. I mean, I waited a few days because I had to be out of town. But when I got back uh, on Tuesday, I found the opportunity to do so. And I mean, it was just enlightening to me. Um, I'm hoping that the mayor will talk about some of the elements of the of the survey tonight in her in her state of the city address. And one of the things I'm hoping that the mayor will address, and I'm not sure she has the opportunity to do that or the time to do that, but I'm hoping that we address the whole idea of the vacancy, the vacant housing in our community, because I think that's one of the things that really is a, a concern for a number of residents of Lima. Yeah, housing and, you know, better quality housing and affordable housing. I think that is one of the things on her agenda. Yeah, so when I drive around town uh, and I spend a lot of time in the central city, I see a lot of vacant housing and they're falling apart. And, and I think it, 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 it says a lot about what we as a community um, find value, about where we find value in our community and maintaining our properties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she's been really engaging. So the State of the City Address is actually tonight. And if you don't go down to the Civic Center, you can watch it on our Facebook page. We're live streaming it at 6 o'clock. So that's kind of cool because you can sit at home and, and find out what the mayor has to say. I think it'd be a great opportunity to stay in touch with our community. It's something I'm, I'm really proud of Lyme. I've had to leave town a number of times to go into other places to work, but it's always been a great, uh, a great comfort to me to come back home to my to the city where I was born. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and like you said, there's so many things happening. I mean, we, we have that central district and the amphitheater going up. And so, you know, we're moving in, in a direction that's just amazing. I think so. You look downtown. Uh, you, as you said, the amphitheater and some of the businesses that are going to go in town town. I know they spoke about it at Rotary a few weeks ago. And then I just drove by the library this morning. And of course, they've been able to put up that new wall there uh, to assist in, in, you know, the beautification of that. I just think it's great. I just think it's something we can be very proud of in, in Lima with the cooperation between the uh, private sector and the government. Right, exactly. Lots of cooperation things happening. Fill out that survey if you get it. Thank you, Father, for coming today. A great pleasure, Holly. Thank you. All right. Don't go away. Noon Edition continues in a moment.